to remember those who fell on 9-11, and to recognize local first responders, Pikeville held its Remembrance Day celebration Saturday morning. I think they could do it with, with no concern for their own safety. Um, and sometimes they do a lot of things that we don't even know that they do. Um, I know there's been rescues in the last couple of months. Some of our fire and police both had to rescue some people. And, and they put themselves at danger in order to help those people out. out. And a lot of times they don't even know them, you know. Um, so it just exemplifies bravery and courage and the willingness to go into the fire, so to speak. And that's what we're doing here today. Um, each uh, a representative from each first responder division received a plaque. And uh, we really just want, as, as a community, come together and let them know, hey, we know what you're doing and we really appreciate since it. Since 2001, 20 years have passed since that fateful day. Afterward, we spoke with Judge Executive Ray Jones, who says it's important to honor the memory. Less than two weeks ago, we had to rely on our first responders with the flood event. Uh, you know, the, the Pikeville Fire Department saved one elderly lady from uh, what would have been a catastrophic uh, flood event there at Stone Cold. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, younger people, don't remember 9-11. And I think it's important that we honor the memory and the sacrifice of those people, the first responders, uh, the people who gave their lives that day so that the younger generations will understand the sacrifices that they've made. And there's lessons to be learned from that. Um, as I said earlier, our country's so divided right now that it really dishonors the memory and the sacrifice that so many people have made, not just on 9-11, but over the course of the history of this nation. When Americans are so critical and so bitter toward other Americans, uh, when we really need to rally around each other, not only because of the pandemic, but the war on terror and all the issues facing our nation. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.